Hey guys, so it was a couple of months ago or something I talked about uh, Castlevania Nocturne. People aren't liking it. <laughs> they said it has like nothing to do with any of the original characters. It has no recognizable enemies or, or any. It, basically, they people are wondering why it was even called Castlevania. Uh, but we're here at Niche Gamer. Uh, Castlevania Nocturne criticized for talking racism and equ uh, equality instead of fighting vampires. So you can say, well, John, these theories have always had underlining. Yeah, underlining, not outright in your fucking face. Big difference. It's like Doctor Who. You know, back then, when it came to the writers, it, it was harder to tell what their ideology was, who that you know, who they vote for, and this and that. Now it's in your face. Now you see these things, and you know exactly who the writers are voting for. You know exactly what their ideology is. It's not, uh, you know, subtle anymore. There's no nuance. There's, it's in your face, and that's what people have a problem with. If you're gonna make a show, Castlevania. It needs to be Castlevania. You can have maybe some of these things worked into it, but when apparently most of it is just ideological bullcrap, then you have a problem. You know, people are like, it's, it's almost like these people have never played Castlevania or seen anything related to Castlevania. They're race swapping characters. Um, they're, I mean, here's this. The sugar and tobacco fields had dried out in the sun, and the spark lit a flame, and then the flame was an inferno, and all their power and cruelty crumbled before us. Liberty, equality, fraternity. Yeah, down with the patriarchy. <sighs> Racisms. Because when we watch a cartoon or an anime, or play a video game, or watch a movie, or watch a TV show, or look at the, you know, watch commercials, because, you know, whenever we see any of this, we totally want to be preached to. You know, when I watch Doctor Who, you know, I totally want to be preached to about how, because I'm white, I'm, I'm an evil racist, or that, oh, women have it so hard. I, you know, I love that. I love those stories. You know, I love being preached to. Instead of being able to watch Doctor Who about a, a, a series about a, a Time Lord who travels through time and space in a freaking phone box. No, I love being preached to. You know, screw the sci-fi stuff. Screw the aliens. I want to be preached to. I want to be told, oh yeah, white man bad. Minority have it hard. Bl women have it hard. Ooh, global warming. I love being preached to in my sci-fi shows, in my sci-fi movies. Again, in a show about a dude flying around in a freaking phone box, I love being preached to. I love all the buzzwords they throw in, like the patriarchy, misogyny, capitalism, you know, because that's another favorite one of theirs. I just, I love it. Because when I'm looking for a way to escape reality, I like nothing more than to have reality thrown right back in my face and all these things are supposed to be science fiction. I love it. I fucking love it. Castlevania Nocturne has been highly criticized on social media after showcasing a scene involving a speech about racism and equality. The show focuses on vampire hunter Richter Belmont as he assembles a motley crew to prevent an apocalypse during the French Revolution. Yes, because these people certainly scream French, don't they? I didn't hear anyone screaming about a croissant. Croissant! Uh, debuted September 28th with eight episodes. As opposed to meeting viewer expectations by, by being a show about fighting vampires, Castlevania Nocturne has delivered a scene where a black woman delivers a speech about racism and equality. The moment was uploaded to social media where it was criticized mercilessly for its seemingly irrelevant nature. Individuals also claimed the show had lower animation quality compared to pre previous Castlevania shows. Comments also asserted that the main character, Richter, was being sidelined for, yeah, wouldn't be surprised, for a black female can uh, character, Annette, who was race, uh, race, race swapped from the game. Yeah, Annette was a white blonde woman. Uh, but, nope, we can't have that anymore. 
um people who people wanted richter backflipping around and fucking up vampires they got current year talking points reframed as revolutionary rhetoric and this shit is embarrassing from solid python Looks like most of the CG models are rigged by Rooster Teeth in some video uh, video game engine. All the voice acting is just some randos they cut off the street. It feels like an AI animated rock, paper, scissors shit. Why is the animation so janky? This takes place during the French Revolution. They don't sound very French to me. Please don't tell me they're referencing the Haiti revolt. Uh, it's the French Revolution. Do you guys watch the fucking trailers at least? Watch the show for context. <laughs> Last time I checked, France doesn't have tobacco or sugarcane plantations. It doesn't sound quite right, but I wouldn't be this much of a doomer about that. It's not that bad. <laughs> the writer strike really hit hard. Doesn't Castlevania take place in the 1400s or close to that? I mean, depends. I think mo some of the series have kind of taken all place all over. The accent is terrible, and why does it have frame rate issues? Do female characters win argument uh, win every argument with men in this one as well. Yeah. And I've seen, I've said this before, you know, nowadays it's the girl boss where whether TV shows or comics or movies or even commercials, it's always the, the, me, dumb male, me, no, do not good with no female. And the girl, <laughs> you men would be all just all over without us. You know, you see like the last of us instead of Joel being the leader. Nope. He's getting led around by a woman. Um, same thing, Star Wars, Star Trek, Doctor Who, you name it now, you're being led around by a woman because it's current day and we have to force this shit as much as possible. Another Netflix fail. This is what happened. This is exactly what I fear would happen. Social criticism stuff in the center of attention and supposedly main character fading in the back. Yeah. Haven't, haven't had Netflix in years. Let's say I'm not missing anything. Is it set in the French Revolution? <laughs> At around seven seconds, the camera pans again to correct the framing like he was directed by Tommy Wiseau himself. Oh, hi, Mark. Yep. Th that person, uh, it, really good animator. They're do they do more um, not safe for work stuff, but their animations are really good. God, the writing and voice acting is terrible. <laughs> Holy shit, original Little Karibo Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge had better voice acting and mixing. Yeah, even like the first, go back and watch the first episode of the Abridged series. It's still so bad, but still a lot better than what's coming out now. Bro, the voice acting. We really need to use less live actors for voice work. What a horrible night to be cringe, bro. What a horrible night to have a curse. Both her expression and line delivery just don't mesh together very well. From the looks of it. Like, no one just... It's just... It's crazy. What was that? Uh, well, they deleted this one, but it summarizes perfectly what the diversity hires they got to write, voice, and animate this junk. Think of Castlevania. They can't create, so they just rejoice in destroying. Castlevania Nocturne. This was from them. That it's, it's them themselves. No matter what the timeline, the Belmonts stay getting humbled by their magic competition. Uh, the magic companions.
Yeah, this. That's her right there. She's now a black girl. Because, you know. Netflix, the reverse King Midas. <laughs> Touches gold and everything turns to shit. How many game IPs have been desecrated? Resident Evil, Witcher. Yeah. Hey, taking, we're talking racism and quality instead of fighting vampire by losers who don't watch the show. Yeah, it's clear they, they've never played the games or done anything remotely close to seeing anything Castlevania related. I mean, let's, let's, let's watch this bit again, shall we? It's. The sugar and tobacco fields had dried out in the sun and the spark lit a flame. And then the flame was an inferno and all their power and cruelty crumbled before us. Liberty, equality, fraternity. Yeah. Again. When I'm watching a show about vampires, I so want current day shit thrown in. I love being preached to. You know, I, after a day of hard work in the factory, you know, you come home, kick off my boots, and, you know, I want to dive into things that allow me to escape reality. There's nothing better than having reality thrown right back at me in the, in the, the, the shows I watch and the games I play. The, the, the comics I might read. Just, I love it. I just love having reality thrown right back at me when I'm trying to escape that. I just love it. I'm sure you guys all love it too. A great man once said, everything woke turns to shit. Every day that becomes more and more true. Every day. And you, and what's crazy, this is crazy is that these people don't learn. Because you know what? I don't think they're in it to make the money. They just want to desecrate and destroy as many IPs with their bullshit as possible because they are such miserable fucking twats that they can't find joy in anything. So they need to destroy everything they touch. Everything these people get their hands on is fucking annihilated. Because they have no vision apart from their fucking ideologies, what's between their legs, skin color, sexuality, political leanings, all of that shit that shouldn't even really be making its way into shows like that. Again, like I said, Doctor Who, it was always kind of like a subtle thing, but now you watch the show and you know exactly what side they're on. You know exactly what, they, what their ideology is. You think they would learn, but again, they don't care. They just want to destroy as much as fucking possible. It's like with Rings of Power. Clearly, they don't have a passion for Tolkien. Otherwise, they would have kept his work as it was. But instead, they're new characters and changing his story completely. They don't fucking care. They see a place to put their fucking uh, uh, equality and inclusion and representation bullshit and they use IPs that they know people are going to watch. And then there's, oh my God, uh, it's just a bunch of racists. No, we're tired of your bullshit making its way into the shows that we use as a fucking escape. And again, it, it, it doesn't matter anymore. Comics, movies, TV shows, uh, some, you know, when um, English dubs get uh the uh certain anime you have them writing in their own fucking bullshit uh commercials like everything is just shoved down your fucking throat now and people are tired of it and yet it just it keeps going it keeps going and going and going so Just do yourself a favor, find a series that was, you know, an anime series from a while ago, or find a series, I mean, I recommend JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, really good series, start to finish, completely amazing series, um, and I'm talking about, if you know, if you want to watch anime, um, 
Yu Yu Hakusho is like one of the first anime I got into that I just, it's my favorite anime of all time. Um, so Yu Yu Hakusho, I mean, these are more like the starter ones, the ones that were like out back then, but there's so much more out there from the past that you can watch than the fucking bullshit they're shoving down your throat now. So. Anyway. Freedom, liberty, equality, eh, black vampires matter. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. See you guys.